<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's Emei from Black Arrow. We are back from week three of our new show at the USL. Give me some dope updates. There is so much happening right now in soccer, but you really got to dig deep to know what's going on. And that's exactly why this show exists. We are down to the final four teams in the USL Championship playoff bracket. Before I get you hip to this fit that I'm rocking this week, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the matchups happening this weekend on ESPN+. Out West, we have Phoenix Rising moving on in the knockout tournament after a late win last week. They'll be taking on El Paso Locomotive. Did you know that Didier Drago and Diplo are part of the ownership group in Phoenix? Yo, I know that club is lit. On the Eastern side of things, we got a big matchup going down in Louisville. Louisville City FC is gonna be taking on the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Make sure you tune in. Lou City are considered by many to be the favorites to win this match. And a big part of that is due to this young Jamaican brother named Devon Wood. Now don't get it twisted, Devon is no newcomer to these types of situations, having won three USL championships in his career. Coming from the south side of Kingston, they call your boy Speedy Williams. Yo Speedy, you fast? Fast like lightning. I mean teach boy. Make sure you look out for Devon this weekend. This Saturday, you can catch both games on ESPN+. The winners of these games will compete next weekend on ESPN in a nationally broadcasted game. We cannot wait to see that. As the USL playoffs are coming to an end, one of the dopest stories that's happening behind the scenes is based on a team that's officially joining the league next season, and that's the Oakland Roots. So if you're not hip to game or you haven't seen these fly kids or know about the team, don't worry, Black Girl, we got you. We're gonna give you the top five reasons you should be rocking with the Oakland Roots next season. First and foremost, every game is an Oakland block party. Oakland lenders like Fab, Mystic, and Fantastic Negrito, Zion I are all a part of the Roots game day experience as the team is truly a reflection of Oakland's culture. Number two, the Roots are a purpose-driven club and consider football as a force for social good. They proved that this year when they became the first club in the country to join a program called the Common Goal. Now by joining the Common Goal movement, the Roots officially pledged 1% of player and staff wages alongside ticket revenue to help combat social inequality. Number three, Jordan Farrell. Now Jordan is one of the only African-American head coaches among the 82 pro soccer teams right here in the United States. Shout out to Jordan for doing your thing, man. And clearly the Roots are practicing what they preach. Number four, earlier this season, the Roots launched the Oakland Roots Justice Fund and created the Justice Match, a match dedicated to advancing the conversation around gender and racial equality, equity, and justice. Yo, we need more of this. And number five, the Roots got anthems. Earlier this year, the Roots collaborated with Oakland's very own Fantastic Negrito on a social justice anthem for the team. Y'all check out the tunes as we close this episode and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.